Hello friends, welcome to our channel MFI Education. This is Mohammad Takliyasi. In this video, I will talk about EDP effluent treatment plant. Uh, so, what is EDP? Why EDP is needed? And it is impossible to fix single treatment scheme. But before going to start, you should know about water pollution. So, what is water pollution? Uh, undesirable substance in water, maybe uh, such as organic or inorganic which degrade the quality of water so it becomes unfit uh, to use. Uh, the major causes of water pollution are industrial waste, agricultural waste and domestic waste etc. First of all I want to introduce the EDP effluent treatment plant. The effluent treatment is a process used for treating the industrial waste water uh, for reuse, reuse or same disposable to the environment. Uh, the main aim of EDP is to release uh, safe water to environment uh, from the harmful effect caused by the effluents. Now we start detailed explanation of effluent treatment plant. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we are going to discuss effluent treatment plant EDP. Uh, projected by MFI laboratory uh, first of all we are discussing that what is the concept of ETP effluent treatment plant covers a mechanism and process used to treat such water that have been contaminated in some way by anthropogenic industrial or commercial activities prior to its release into the environment or its reuse uh, this effluent contains several pollutants which can be removed with the help of an effluent treatment plant. ATP treat water and make free from all objectionable impurities present in suspension, colloidal or dissolved form. Uh, now we are going to discuss why do we need to treat effluent to prevent groundwater pollution, to prevent seashore, to prevent soil, to prevent marine life, protection of public health, to reuse the treated uh, effluent for agricultural, for groundwater recharge, for industrial recycle, and last one will be solving social problems caused by the accumulation of wastewater. Need of ETP in industry. Uh, obviously, the manufacturers face strict regulations on discharge and waste. Non-compliance can lead to expensive fees and operation interface. A wastewater treatment help them to stay in compliance, reduce transportation and off-site treatment cost, reduce supply cost by recovering production materials out of the wastewater waste uh, stream for use, eliminate municipal fees, eliminate unnecessary water usage during processing. What are the major treatment using in ETP? Uh, there are four steps preliminary treatment, primary treatment, secondary treatment and tertiary treatment. Preliminary treatment include screens, detriot, scrapers, grid chamber, skimming tanks, aeration and primary treatment uh, utilize sedimentation, saddling tank, calorie uh, flock liter, uh, equalization tank, neutralization tank and secondary treatment activated sludge process ASP, trickling filter, aerated lagoons, USB multiple evaporator plant, rotating biological contractors, and tertiary treatment sand membrane filters, activated carbon filters, disinfection ion exchange ESP, and last one will be nutrient removal. Preliminary treatment. Preliminary treatment remove uh, gross solids and materials that can be easily collected from the effluent uh, and can damage or or clock the pumps and skimmers of primary treatment clarifiers. These are inorganic materials and insoluble organic pollutants that is large floating and suspended solids matter, grit, oil and grease which are inert and cause problems to further chemical and biological treatments. The presence and sequence of preliminary treatment units are totally depends upon the characteristics of effluent that is to be treated or preliminary treatment consists of physical separation techniques by controlling flow rate of effluent. Preliminary treatment screens, screens are used for removal of large floating and submerged material such as plastics, uh, paper pieces, 
rubber it is from effluent major objectives are the they prevent clogging in pumps pipes and valves etc prevent to interface large material in primary and secondary treatment units screens are classified in numbers of ways as follows based on the size of opening such as coarse medium and fine screens depending upon the shape such as disc drum band etc based on method of cleaning such as mechanical or manual these are the uh, three types mechanical medium screening fine screening and coarse bar screening uh, which shown in figures you can easily uh, see a preliminary treatment that reuse scrapers that use are shallow circular ponds used in pre-treatment plants with the purpose of grid removal chain or blade blade type that reuse scrapers are utilized in uh, an adjacent channel into which the uh, collected grid is transferred used when the soft and sticky substance stick on fixed bars and can not get through the screen grid with a 6 meter diam diameter are removed in the detriote uh, these are the uh, two types of detriote detriote scraper first and detriote scraper second uh, we can easily seen by pictures a uh, preliminary treatment uh, grid chamber grid chamber is used for removal of inner inorganic materials consists of sand edge cinder slit clay glass pieces etc it provides safeguard uh, against iron damage to pumps pipes and other equipments by avoiding saddling in pipe bands and channels uh, the eliminated materials collected from chamber and used for land filling road making and on sludge drying beds major objectives of uh, grid chamber protection of pumps valve piping etc minimizing chances of piping choking with in inorganic inter inert material preventing grid from occupying volume in primary and biological treatment units prime primary treatment skimming tank skimming tank is used for removal of oil and grease consists of fats waxes fatty acids soaps mineral oils etc present in emulsified condition in effluent these materials have low solubility in water therefore not readily available for biological treatment and often accumulate on surface in form of scum causing foul odor the efficiency can be improved by aeration chlorination or vacuum flotation the major objectives are removal of scum oil and grease which can otherwise create problem in biological treatment units increase uh, dissolve oxygen do content and remove undesirable gases enhance flocculation of suspended particles these are the three pictures skimming tank with separate oil and grease at top or while the collection of separate oil and grease at edges which can easily seen by pictures preliminary treatment uh, consists of temporarily holding the sewage in an inert basin where heavy solids can settle to the bottom while oil grease and lighter floats solids floats to the surface the settled material go for slush treatment and floating materials are skimmed off the remaining liquid is passed to secondary treatment tanks are usually equipped with mechanically driven scrapers that continually drive the collected sludge towards a hopper in the base of the tank where it is pumped to sludge treatment facilities primary treatment can be either only physical or can be combined with chemical method depending upon the effluent characteristics at this stage over 70 percent of the suspended solids and 40 percent of the beauty is removed from effluent sedimentation uh, sedimentation tank clarifier sedimentation tank are designed to remove suspended particles that are heavier than water through gravitational force by reducing water velocity so uh, it's a solid liquid separation process in which suspension is separated into two phases number one is uh, clarified uh, superintendent leaving the top of the sedimentation tank underflow uh, while the other is uh, concentrated sludge leaving the bottom of the sedimentation tank which is known as overflow an efficient sedimentation tank can remove about 90 percent of ss and 40 percent of organic matter with two hours of deten de uh, detention time 
the major objectives are to remove core dispersed phase, to remove coagulated and flocculated impurities, to remove participated impurities after uh, precipitated or uh, impurities after chemical treatment to settle the sludge biomass after activated sludge process or by using trickling filters. Sedimenta uh, sedimentation tank clarifier factors affecting sedimentation. Characteristics of solid uh, particles, size, shape, specific gravity, concentration, etc. Characteristics of liquid uh, include temperature, viscosity, specific gravity, etc. While the physical characteristics of clarifiers, detention period, shape, and the depth of the basins, flow rate, etc. Types of sedimentation tank um, include according to shape, rectangular tank, circular tank, according to direction flow, longitudinal and radial flow, vertical flow, according to the nature of working, fill and draw, continuous flow, according to method of sludge collection, flat bottom tank with or without scraper, hooper bottom tank. The most common are horizontal flow sedimentation tank and center feet circular clarifiers. Uh, these are the three pictures which can easily seen by circular primary a settling tank, a rectangular settling tank and working of settling tank. Clary flocculator. Clary flocculator consists of coagulation, chemical and flocculation mechanical process. Employ, employed when finally divided SS and colloidal particles cannot be efficiently removed by simple sedimentation. In such cases, chemical assistance is taken. The chemical used for coagulation are called coagulants. Uh, the most common coagulants are alum, potassium alum, potassium alum, hydrated lime, ferric chloride, salt of iron, uh, ferrous sulfate and PAC. PAC is polyaluminium chloride. Coagulation and flocculation. What are coagulation and what are flocculation? Coagulation is the conversion of finally dispersed colloid into a, a small flock with the addition of coagulates. Coagulation can either be followed by the process of settling or flotation. Flocculation. The purpose of flocculation is to bring coagulated particles together by mechanically inducing a velocity gradient within a liquid. Organic polyelectrolyte flocculation aids are effective in promoting soluble solid removal. Flocculation improves the removal of uh, finely divided solid by gravity and settling. Uh, as by the pictures that uh, Clary Flocculator and Clary Flocculator 2, uh, these are both the pictures uh, which are taken uh, from uh, different sources. Uh, you can easily be recognized that uh, what are the Clary Flocculators. Now we are going to move towards equalization tank. Some industries produce different types of waste having different characteristics at different intervals of times. Hence, equalization tank is used to mix different types of effluent through to promote or to produce homogeneous and equalized effluent for uniform treatment. And uh, this is this uh, are large holding tanks with aeration or mechanical agitation with pedals manually to give better mixing of the different units volume of equivalents the effluent is hold and mixed for a specific period of time these are the two models uh, equalization by surface motor motors different inlet in equalization tank uh, by which equalization is occur now we are going to move towards neutralization tank a uh, neutralization tank is used to provide treatment to highly acidic or highly alkaline effluent through neutralizing ph by addition of chemicals industry uh, require neutralization of discharge effluent when it has a highly acidic or highly alkaline effluent. Uh, the acid effluent is usually treated with limestone or lime slurry or caustic soda depending upon the type and quantity of effluent. While the alkaline effluent is neutralized by sulfuric acid, H2SO4 or carbon dioxide or waste boiler flue gases. Now, uh, secondary treatment is a biological treatment of effluent which is typically performed by indigenous waterborne microorganism in a managed habitat. habitat. Secondary treatment removed, uh, dissolved and suspended organic uh, biodegradable matter by consuming it uh, as a food and convert it into new cell mass, energy and carbon dioxide. The most common microorganisms are bacteria, aerobic or anaerobic. 
मे बी प्रोटोजोआ और एन रोटीफायर्स लीस्ट कॉमन आर फंजा फंगाई एन एन एल आफ्टर सेकेंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी टू नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ ब्यूटी एंड एटी टू नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ डिजॉल्व सॉलिड आर रिमूव फ्राम इफिलेंट ना टिकनिंग फिल्टर्स इन ट्रिकलिंग फिल्टर्स ट्रीटमेंट वेस्ट वाटर इज स्प्रेड थ्रू स्प्रिकलिंग रोटेटिंग आर्म ऑन सर्कुलर बैट्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री टू टेन फीट डीप कोर्स मीडिया ऑफ कर्स स्टोन्स ग्रेवल्स और सिस्टमेटिक सिंथेटिक मटीरियल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म गेट अटैच एंड ग्रोस ऑन द मीडिया एंड रिजल्ट इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फिल्म ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म कॉल्ड जोलोजियल फिल्म दिस जोलोजियल फिल्म कंसिस्ट ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म ब्रेक डाउंस organic materials of effluent into simple and soluble matter treated effluent is drain at bottom from uh, where it is collected then undergoes to sedimentation sst it is uh, simple to operate and will give almost 80 to 90% of bud removal with uh, high quality of effluent Uh, these are the three pictures the trickling filter with rotating uh, stones media bed of gravels and stones a uh, last one will be working of trickling filters there are sprinkles filter uh, feed pipe uh, filter support and collection and last one is effluent channel where uh, air is aerated now the activated sludge process uh, Activated sludge process is most uh, versatile biological oxidation method employed for the treatment of effluent containing of dissolved solids, cores, uh, and colloidal organic matter. In this method, effluent is aerated in a reaction tank, consists of micro bio micro uh, biological population in suspension form, aerobic bacteria, and degrades effluent into carbon dioxide and water, for which oxygen is supplied through mechanical aeration or by diffuse aeration system. Uh, the bacterial flora grows and remains suspended in the form of a flock called activated sludge a part of sludge is recycled for the same thing to provide an effective microbial population for a fresh treatment cycle industrial uh, wastewater required 6 to 24 hours of aeration uh, through which almost 90 to 95 percent of bud can be removed Uh, now the the activated sludge process explained by pictures activated sludge treatment AST combined with filtration or aeration tank ASP. Now we are going to move towards uh, USB upflow aerobic sludge blanket reactor. The USB system is a three-phase settler which separates sludge, liquid, and biogas in same tank under high turbulence without occupying large space. Organic matter is degraded under anaerobic uh, conditions by microbes producing methane and carbon dioxide. More effective than it is more effective than uh, conventional aerobic process produce only five to ten percent of sludge, hence more popular in Uh, and aerobic treatment methods uh, while the raw material effluence is introduced from the bottom of the reactor flow upward through a sludge blanket composed of biologically formed granules or part particles treatment occurs as the waste come in contact with this granules treated effluence rise to the top along with generated biogas in form of small balls Treated effluent is collected through overflow weirs, and biogas is collected through a gas collection domes from top. The separated solids fall back through the baffle system on top, which allow the settle uh, down ashes in the sludge blanket, and which are shown as by pictures that USB working mechanism and USB tank with gas holder doom. the gas holder now the tertiary treatment tertiary treatment is the final treatment means uh, for polishing the effluent and removal of pollutants not uh, removed on primary and secondary treatment uh, these pollutants may include soluble in organic compounds such as phosphorus or nitrogen which may support al algal growth in uh, receiving waters uh, also remove organic materials contributing uh, bod or cod or color taste odor bacteria viruses 
colloidal solids contributing to abidity or soluble minerals which may interf interfere with subsequent reuse of the wastewater. Pref it is preferred when treated water is uh, need to be reused or discharged is into a highly sensitive or fragile ecosystem for like uh, estuaries, low flow rivers, coral reefs, etc. Uh, while the tertiary treatment add add additional cost to the treatment process but produce high quality effluent which can be reused further for commercial and industrial applications. Treated water can be reused for the irrigation of a golf course, uh, greenway or park, construction work, industrial processes, etc. If it is uh, sufficiently clean, it can also be used for groundwater recharge. Uh, treated water is sometimes uh, disinfected chemically or physically depending upon the discharging location. <laughs> While uh, last one will be filtration. Filtration is process of removing particles and bacterial impurities that could not be removed in early, early treatment from water by passing it through a porous medium. It is used to remove colloidal and other impurities which uh, impart turbidity to water. Also for disinfection of water uh, by reducing 90% of bacterial load. It is also used to reduce odor and color by arresting them in filter media. These are various type of filter available to uh, treat certain types of wastewater. Selection is totally depend on uh, characteristics of wastewater, efficiency of absorbent and fluoride and pollutant to be removed from wastewater. These are the types of filters uh, shown by uh, this uh, picture that uh, based on filtration ra uh, rate, uh, based on filter media material and based on depth of filter media. And the gravity filters, special filters and uh, gravity filters are further divided into slow sand filter, rabbit sand filter while the based on filter media uh, are divided into three categories sand filters, metallic, uh, uh, metallic filters, uh, dio, uh, diatomous uh, earth filters and anthrax filters while uh, based on depth of filter media uh, into convert into two categories pre coat filters, deep uh, granular filters now we are going to move towards activated carbon filters. Activated carbon filters consist of activated carbon granules supported by very fine quartz filter media, various grades of carbon and value uh, available for specialized treatment of wastewater. And the activated carbon filters are used to remove free chlorine, organic, uh, organic residue, toxic heavy metal sign and color uh, from wastewater. Uh, it is most common absorbent used are activated carbon peat moose and brown coal and other cellulose material. This sort of treatment may not only improve taste of water but also protect other water treatment units such as reverse osmosis membrane and ion, ion exchange regions from possible damage due to oxidation or organic falling. Now these are different media used for uh, activated, uh, activated carbon filters, activated carbon tubes or channels. And now the ion exchange. Uh, this treatment is used for removal of toxic material and recovery of valuable material from effluent. <coughs> ion exchange is only economical when recovered material is uh, reused. So not economical when objection objective is only removal of pollutant. Majorly used for recovery of chromium, nickel, phosphate and sulfuric acid. Also copper, lead, mercury and removal of cyanides from wastewater after chromium recovery. Uh, these are the some flow charts. Uh, a systematic flow diagram of um, ETP, effluent treatment plant in automobile industry uh, which may be familiar to you. These are the industrial uh, systematic flow diagram and the other one is pharmaceutical industry. Uh, you can uh, easily see uh, what sort of uh, treatment is available in uh, pharmaceutical industry and the last one will be petrochemical industry ETP where petrochemical wastewater in while the discharge and reuse uh, comes out from the bottom and there are different steps mechanical bars oil and water separator aerobic uh, tank aerobic tank then second centimeter tank reaction coagulating tank uh, now the uh, Advanced treatment. Uh, now we are going to move towards ETP plant with advanced treatment, layout of effluent treatment plant uh, uh, through the diagram. 
what sort of uh, uh, different uh, techniques which are utilized to uh, clean wastewater. Uh, the it includes secondary clarifiers, aeration, uh, reactor, tube saddler, chlorination, and addition of uh, coagulating agents. I think uh, these are the basics of uh, effluent treatment plant which uh, we have been discussed and water and air are two essential elements uh, which all life depends have become global garbage cans. Uh, now if you have any question then you can comment uh, or inshallah we will uh, discuss environmental pollution topics in our next class. Uh, till then Allah Hafiz and don't uh, forget to subscribe, like and share my channel. MFI Education, Allah Hafiz.